Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will explain how Autodesk's new Flex licensing works and if it is any good. Autodesk's Flex licensing is a pay-as-you-go service where you will be charged each 24 hours that you use Autodesk software. If you don't use it, you won't be charged. Previously, the shortest time to rent Autodesk software was one month subscription. This service is meant for users who use some of Autodesk's software only occasionally. If user uses the software daily, subscription is better option. So how does the service work? First, your studio or company purchases Autodesk tokens. Tokens are purchased in batches, the smallest batch is 500 tokens. The pricing will vary on your country, here is pricing for United States, 500 tokens costs $1,500. Second, each Autodesk software has assigned price in tokens for 24 hour period of use. So for instance, Revit costs 10 tokens per 24 hours, AutoCAD 7 tokens, Inventor 8 tokens, or 2 tokens for Fusion 360. Third, when a user from your studio fires up Revit, 10 tokens are spent from your token count. This user can then use Revit for 24 hours. The user can close the software and open it again with no additional fees. He or she can also open the software on different machine, let's say one at the office and one at the home, as long as they are logged in as the same user. Once the 24 hour period is over and the user opens Revit again, another 10 tokens are spent. Any number of people from your studio can use this token system. There is one caveat. You have one year from your purchase of tokens to use them. They don't roll over to another period, so you have to be mindful of number of purchased tokens. Let's do some calculations to see the cost of using flex licensing and also the break-even point compared to subscription. So here is calculation for using Revit. Let's say we purchased 500 tokens which are which cost $1,500, so the cost of one token is $3. Even if you purchase larger batch of tokens, the cost of one token is roughly the same. The number of tokens that uh, Revit usage for 24 hours is 10 tokens, so that means that in dollars the cost of Revit usage for 24 hours is $30. Now we will calculate after how many days the usage of Flex becomes uh, more expensive than subscribing to Revit. So uh, Revit subscription for one year costs $2,545. So this is this number. One day of Revit use on the Flex is $30. So break-even number of days is 2,545 uh, divided by 30, which is 84.8 days. So if you are using Revit more than 84 days uh, per year, it's more advantageous for you to use Revit subscription. If you use Revit less than 84 days, it's better to use Flex, Flex licensing. It's cheaper. I was interested in how many of 84 days, uh, working days, is per one year. So I took a look and there are 20, 261 work days in year 2021. So that means that 84 days divided by 261 is 0.33 of one year. So that means one third of the work year. So if you use Revit less than one third of your work year or work week, so that means let's say two and less days per week, then it's advantageous for you to use the flex licensing. If you use Revit more than one third of the days that you work, then a Revit subscription is more advantageous for you. 
I'm a Revit LT user, so I did this calculation for uh, Revit. But if I take a look at other Autodesk software, let's say AutoCAD here, I did the same calculation just with the different type of uh, different number of tokens used and different uh, price for one year subscription. And I was interested in uh, how many days uh, the break-even calculation is for other software. And it looks like Autodesk was aiming for those uh, one third of the year or 84 days because with Autodesk it uh, sums up almost the same one third of the year. With Inventor it's a little bit more but let's say it's, it's the same 91 days is the break-even break -even point. For Fusion 360 it's 82 days is the break-even point. And for InfraWorks, it's again one third of the year, 86 days. And for 3DX Max, it's a little bit different, but still almost the same, almost one third of the year, 94 days. So this is some uh, other software. Autodesk was aiming to the break even point to be one third of the year usage if we can only do work days. From these calculations, we can see that for employees who would use Revit or other Autodesk software less than one third of the work days, it is preferable to have flex licensing compared to subscription. Now let's take a look at my use case. I am Revit LT user in a small studio where I'm the only one using the software. I was hoping I could use flex licensing for upgrading our workflow to using Enscape real-time visualization software. This software needs add-in, so it only works with full Revit version. My idea was to work with Revit LT. I can create the whole model, including materials. Once I had the model complete, I could fire up full Revit and create Enscape deliverables. I could do that in a day or two. In my estimate with this workflow, I would need full Revit for 30 days in one year. That would make it feasible to use flex licensing. But because the smallest batch of tokens costs $1,500 and I would have to use them in one year, this doesn't make fun financial sense to me. I would paste those $1,500 per year plus Revit LT subscription of $475. That makes $1,975, which is only $570 cheaper than paying the full Revit subscription of $2,545. In this case, it would be more preferable to just pay for the full Revit version. I hope this video helped you in understanding Autodesk Flex licensing. Let me know whether it's good fit for your studio or if you will stick with subscription. Take care.